Welcome to Modern Agri Machines. Today we're diving into the secrets behind America's massive almond industry. Did you know that California produces over 80% of the world's almonds, with millions of tons grown, harvested, and processed every year? But how do these vast almond orchards operate so efficiently? From my advanced drip irrigation systems and automated tree shakers to run state-of-the-art processing lines, every step of the journey is optimized to produce the finest almonds. Join Modern Agri Machines as we explore the Furnin powerful machines and smart farming techniques that make this industry so successful. Let's get started. The almond planting process in the U.S. begins with meticulous soil preparation to ensure optimal tree growth. First, farmers plow the soil 60 to 90 centimeters deep, breaking up compacted layers and improving drainage. They then apply organic fertilizers and lime to balance the soil pH between 6.0 to 7.5. Next, GPS guided systems are used to precisely mark planting spots. The planting holes are 40 to 50 centimeters wide and 50 to 60 centimeters deep, providing ample space for root development. Most almond orchards are established using grafted saplings or in, instead of seeds, allowing for faster fruit production. When planting, farmers carefully place the young trees into the holes, gently covering the roots with soil without compacting it too tightly. They then water the trees immediately to help them adapt to their new environment. Finally, an Toranin automated drip irrigation system is installed to provide consistent water and nutrients, ensuring optimal growth conditions during the tree's crucial early years. Green Plant Truck. After planting, almond trees require careful maintenance to ensure healthy growth and high yields. One of the most crucial steps is pruning, which helps shape the tree canopy and promotes strong development. Immediately after planting, U.S. farmers cut the young treetops, leaving a height of about 90 to 120 centimeters. This encourages the tree to focus its nutrients on developing branches, establishing a strong framework for future growth. During the hot training phase, years one to three, regular pruning helps shape the tree's structure. Farmers select as three to four primary scaffold branches, removing weak, overlapping, or inward growing branches to ensure better airflow and sunlight penetration. This not only reduces the risk of diseases, but also maximizes productivity when the tree starts bearing fruit. In addition to pruning, irrigation nar plays a vital role in almond tree care. Most U.S. farmers use automated drip irrigation systems, ensuring a consistent water supply while conserving resources. During the first year, young trees require frequent watering about two to three times per week to establish a strong root system. As the trees mature, watering frequency is reduced to once or twice per week, depending on weather conditions. Before harvest, water supply is lowered to encourage better nut development. Along with water, almond trees need proper fertilization to receive essential nutrients. In the first year, farmers apply about 50 to 100 kilograms of NPK fertilizer per hectare, but increasing to 150 to 200 kilograms per hectare in the second and third years. Once the trees reach full maturity, fertilization levels rise to 250 to 300 kilograms per hectare annually supplemented with organic compost to enhance soil quality and promote sustainable growth. Weed control is another critical aspect of almond orchard management. Weeds compete with trees for nutrients and can hinder their growth. To manage weeds, farmers use mowers and apply mulch, such as straw or wood chips, around the base of the trees to suppress weed growth and retain soil moisture. Some farms also employ sheep or goats for natural weed control, providing an eco-friendly solution. With these meticulous care practices, 
Almond trees thrive and prepare for bountiful harvests in the coming seasons. Tree. From water February to early March, California's vast almond orchards transform into a breathtaking sea of soft pink and white blossoms. This is not only a crucial time for the trees as they prepare for fruit production, but also a busy season for beekeepers, tourists, and photography enthusiasts. Almond trees require woody cross-pollination, meaning they cannot self-pollinate and rely on honeybees in my son for the process. To ensure a successful harvest, thousands of beekeepers from across the U.S. transport over 2 million beehives shown to the orchards. These hardworking bees pollinate the almond flowers while also producing high-quality almond blossom honey, known for its delicate aroma and rich flavor. At the same time, almond orchards become a more popular destination for visitors and photographers. Children enjoy educational tours, learning about agriculture and the vital role of bees in the ecosystem. Meanwhile, travel and photography lovers flock to capture the microdendless rows of blooming trees under the clear blue sky, creating stunning visuals that feel almost surreal. The almond blossom season is not just the beginning of a new harvest, but also a symbol of life, beauty, and the deep connection between humans and nature. Flower Bee The almond harvest season in the U.S. typically begins in August and lasts until October when the outer hull of the fruit dries and splits open, signaling that the nut has reached full maturity. In the vast orchards of California, which produce over 80% of the world's almonds, harvesting is done entirely with modern machinery, optimizing efficiency and minimizing losses. The first step is tree shaking, a technique that allows for a fast and effective harvest tree shaker machines are equipped with a strong mechanical arm that firmly grips the tree trunk and generates powerful vibrations for a few seconds. This force causes thousands of almonds to fall to the ground, forming a thick layer beneath the canopy. This method has replaced labor-intensive hand picking, making the process significantly more efficient. Once the almonds have fallen, sweeper machines move through the orchard using rotating brushes and powerful air currents to gather the nuts into neat rows while removing most of the dry leaves and small twigs. Immediately after, a quanine harvester machine work follows, traveling along the rows and vacuuming up the almonds into its storage compartment. Equipped with a high-powered fan system, the machine helps separate additional debris, leaving behind clean almonds ready for transport. As soon as the collection process is complete, the harvested almonds are transported to processing facilities. However, before undergoing further processing, they must first be dreadmined to reduce moisture to a safe level, ensuring long-term storage and preservation. This highly efficient harvesting system not only maximizes productivity, but also maintains consistent nut quality, meeting global market demands. Electric Truck After being harvested from the vast almond orchards of California, almonds cannot be consumed immediately. They must go through a rigorous processing system to ensure quality before reaching consumers. Each almond undergoes several key stages, including collection, transportation, cleaning, shell removal, sorting, and packaging. These steps are carried out using advanced machinery to maximize efficiency and maintain the highest quality standards. Right after harvesting, almonds are gathered into large windrows on the ground and quickly collected using specialized vacuum machines. 
before being loaded onto transport trucks. The transportation process is swift to prevent prolonged exposure to moisture, which could affect the quality of the nuts. Upon arrival at the processing facility, almonds undergo drying or controlled dehydration. To reduce moisture to a safe level, around four to six percent, ensuring long-term preservation without mold or spoilage. At the facility, almonds are placed onto an automated conveyor system where powerful air blowers remove dust, dry leaves, and remaining debris from the orchard. Once pre-cleaned, the almonds move to the shelling machines, which use rollers and pressure mechanisms to crack and remove the hard outer shells without damaging the kernels inside. The separated shells are collected and repurposed, often used as livestock feed or organic fertilizer. After shell removal, the almonds pass through an unoptical sorting system with color sensors and x-ray technology to detect defective insect damage or low quality nuts. Any substandard almonds are removed or used for almond oil extraction. The high quality nuts are then sorted by size, shape and color, ensuring uniformity in every batch. Once sorted, the almonds are packaged into different formats depending on market demands. Some are packaged whole, while others are sliced, ground into flour, or processed into almond milk and almond butter. To maintain freshness, the almonds are sealed in vacuum-packed or Ziploc bags with moisture-resistant layers, then stored in refrigerated warehouses before being shipped worldwide. Every step in the almond harvesting and processing chain is highly mechanized, not only optimizing efficiency, but also ensuring the food safety, preserving natural flavor, and maintaining nutritional value. Thanks to this advanced process, American almonds remain among the highest quality nuts globally, supplying millions of consumers each year. Parpanam. The journey of almonds from the orchard to the table is a meticulous process, combining modern agriculture with advanced technology. Thanks to automated harvesting and processing systems, millions of tons of almonds are produced each year, meeting global demand with the highest quality. If you found this process fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Manomon. Modern Agri Machines, to explore more of the world's most advanced agricultural technologies. See you in the next video, electric truck plant.